Hey everybody! Now it's here. Heavy rain. And whatever her face is. I don't even remember. That's kind of sad. It's really sad. <laughs> Where we last left off, we. Crap, I don't remember. Well, who cares? Oh yeah, what was, it? was the power PowerPoint? Yeah, no, it was PowerPoint. Power, no, power. Yeah. Oh, crap. Oh my god. I hope at this point she asks him what the heck is going on. Son of a gun. <sighs> Ethan. Ethan, He's knocked out, can you but... hear me? Oh. Hey, baby. I wake up. I'm gonna kiss you. I'm gonna give you a kiss, baby. You've got a hell of a fever. <laughs> Getting somewhere. I'm gonna have to get your clothes off to disinfect those wounds. Look really bad. Fall through some glass. I need to disinfect your wounds. Man, I'm a crazy son of a bitch. Getting everything. Doctor, but I'll do what I can. Ooh, disinfectant. <laughs> Dabbing. Are disinfected. Hey! Um, uh, medicine. Bandage, so god. Um, I fever. Oh, whoops, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, I gotta keep. Whoops. Didn't know I had to keep going.
He's unconscious. Now I'll just have to wait. And hope he wakes up. I'm well, snooping while we're waiting. The time is passing. He's alive. It's alive. How do you feel? Like what? Ah, oh, no. <sighs> I've been better. Was I out for long? About three hours. Oh. Seemed a lot longer than that. Why the Guardian Angel Act? You don't even know me. When I was a child, I was always the one who used to fix my brothers up when they'd been fighting with the other kids on the block. I, uh, I suppose I like to play the guardian angel. <sighs> you said you were here because you're an insomniac? I, um, I've been going through a bit of a tough patch the last few months. It's the kind of stuff you prefer to forget. I do what I can to live with it, but, uh, it's not easy. <laughs> you, um, you got some kind of a problem? Bigger than you can possibly imagine. <laughs> you mixed up with the Mafia, owe someone money, something like that? Listen, I'm truly grateful for your help, but for your own sake, I think it's better if you don't ask any questions. Maybe I could help you, no I- No one can help me. Jerk. You've already done a lot, Madison. Oh, her name is Madison, all right. right. I'm gonna go. Take care. What have I done? You're welcome. Him again. Friend, make a sacrifice to save your son. I'll do anything. Anything. I didn't do it. I swear I didn't do it. I've got nothing to do Vin with Diesel. that business. I never killed nobody. Oh, no. Then why did you run away when they came to question you? I already told you I forgot to report to my parole officer. I didn't want to go back to prison. When I saw the cops, I just bolted. I wasn't thinking straight. We checked out his statement. He has an alibi for at least three of the murders. Fuck, that bastard was a perfect fit. Shit! Ash? Okay. That was long pause. Sean Moss's mother is here. She'd like to speak with you. It was a few months back, the middle of the night. It was pouring down. Ethan came home completely drenched at about three. I asked him where he'd been. 
he uh, he spoke about drowning the rain. Um, he didn't make any sense. There was something. something she the killer. Eyes, as if it wasn't really him. There may be no connection, but the next day there was that announcement about another victim of the origami killer. Find my son. I'm begging you. He's like, no way. I'm police Admit lieutenant Corporal Blake. Out of his son. This is Agent Norman Jaden of the FBI. I mean, According to our information, Ethan ex. Mars is one of your patients. We'd like to ask you a few questions about him. I'm sorry, that's impossible. I beg your pardon? I'm bound by an oath of secrecy. Under no circumstances may I discuss my patients. My job is to find Sean Mars alive, and I don't give a damn about any bullshit oath. It's your duty to inform the police if you suspect one of your patients, Doctor. I'm sorry, I can't help you. And now I must ask you to leave. You need to cooperate for your own sake. Doctor, a child's life's at stake. You may know something that could help us save him. Are you Come threatening on, me? I'm just giving you some free advice, Doc. I suggest you take it. Blake, that's enough. Let's get out of here. I am going to call the police and make a complaint about your behavior. Doctor, you are really pushing my buttons. The only thing I'm interested in is saving that kid's life. So, you're going to be a good boy and tell me what I want to know, or I am really going to lose my Blake, temper. Stop that immediately. Let go of me. You. You have no What's your right. problem, Blake? <laughs> Go this man immediately. I'll report you and you'll be off the case. What the hell's the matter with you, Norman? What you getting cold feet? You don't want to save Sean hey. Mars anymore? I want to save Sean Mars just as much as you do, but that doesn't give me all rights. So you're gonna stop this shit right now. Ethan Mars has had psychological problems since his first son died. Feels responsible for his death. Sort of morbid neurosis. He is haunted by visions of drowning bodies. A few weeks ago, after one of our usual sessions, I found this on the floor. It must have fallen out of his pocket. <sighs> no way. Norman Jaden, what's up, man? What you doing? What you doing? No, you my pal, Norman. Good cop. Ash, I want you to assign every available man to finding Ethan Mars. I want a man outside his place day and night. Notify all agencies to start looking for him. I want you to keep an eye on the train stations, the airports, the bus terminals. I want every cop in the city on his ass so that if he moves, we know about it. Yes. Ethan Mars is the origami killer. Maybe. We don't know. How much I really lean towards that though. But why would he kidnap his own son? Why did it have that loading thing with his face?